Hey everyone, so today we're gonna to start building some headers for the burnout truck. Ended up getting the flanges and some tubes for motion. I'm gonna do stainless zoomies out the hood on this build. It's gonna be pretty crazy. Hopefully shoot some flames out of the hood on the two-step and everything. So where I finished up last time was getting the engine fully mounted, the transmission in the truck. Also went ahead and finished mounting up the motion adjustable transmission cross member mount. This is good for power glides or turbo 350s. And you guys can see each spot is slotted and uh, this is where it ended up working out since I was able to slide the engine a little further forward on this so I was able to be on the back side of these holes so now that the transmission is fully mounted and in place and the engine is fully mounted and in place we can go ahead and get started on the headers I went ahead and took one of the stainless flanges and mounted it up on this side I think we're gonna go ahead and get started over here on s you always end up fighting the steering column and the brakes because you have that over here. And since the AC and heat is deleted over here, we don't have that issue. So now that we know that the engine is not going to go anywhere, I ended up putting the fender on here using the front cross support. And everything's pretty solid now. So we'll end up starting to build the headers to come out this direction. Got a bandsaw, a disc grinder, uh, and then a whole bunch of tubes to start cutting and placing them into place. Uh, and then we'll end up using some of the solar flux too. And if you guys have never welded stainless, you should like back bridge and stuff, but this stuff works pretty good. You can actually just paint it onto the edge of the tube and it helps give you that uh, coverage behind it. We've got the welder all set up now and we're gonna go ahead and start with the back tube here and get it built out and around and then we will start working on the other ones. So on the header build, I asked my dad to come over and help with this. He's built quite a few headers, uh, a lot of drag car stuff and this is kind of going to fit with that. It's a little bit different. I don't think you've ever built zoomies out of a hood before, but... No, this, this will definitely be the first. <laughs> so we're going to uh, see how this comes together, but he's done a lot of the stainless header builds and kind of knows the process in building your own headers. So I'm going to have him help me put these ones together. Kind of a good place to start right here. Yeah, you'll get some... Whatever you choose, say your U-bins, 45s, 90s, whatever you want to start with preference. Usually the U-bin is a really good place. That's what you'll get in most kits anyway. All I did to begin with, just to start with, because you're sitting here kind of eyeballing, I have some extra pieces left from obviously other header builds. So don't be afraid to actually, I'd say it's wasting one, but you won't. You'll always use the bits and pieces. You're, this isn't going to be your only headers. You'll, you're going to bound to end up with some scraps. So just expect it. Some of the pieces you think might be scraps might you end up using. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah just like these right here. It's kind of, these are left over from another header, header kit. So it starts giving you options like when you put it in here to kind of see how things might work twist them because all the angles gives you so many options or to roll it'll get higher or lower your clearance so when we started on this here build all i did is i took one of the the u-bends cut it exactly which i've already jumped ahead here i've got a piece on that coming out of our head but really if you look at it it was just one of the u-bends so you got to start somewhere so i usually pick one right in the middle cut it and then once you determine this say you need a little bit more angle then you come in you'll cut off a little bit more you always want to look at the tube as if it's straight there's so many kits out there now or, or i shouldn't say kits but fabrication and stuff where you can cheat and kind of look I've, I've always done it old school just look at it just like pie cutting you always want even num even cuts when you're looking at cutting it here it has to you want to slice off with the straight because if you don't and you go at a weird angle the pipe will actually grow on you it'll get to a longer yes. piece it, it start, you start losing the, the like where it's going to actually fat so like right here it's still a true true tight fit. but if you cut it weird here this would actually be a longer yeah. tube so then you'd end up having gap above and below the pipe yes and you'll start getting weird cuts it'll look like a, a weird dog leg it's all busted and stuff in the middle it's a weird term but kind of like fabrication fairies <laughs> yeah. we're all expecting somebody to do this for us they don't never seem to show up so this is a good place to start that's what we did. Did this right here. I took another piece. This is basically a chunk out of it. You can see where it comes up through here. And, and stuff. I mean, it's, I'm not, I don't know that I'm getting enough where you can actually see it, but that's that's kind of the intent. We've already jumped ahead and I've got a piece where we're sitting in here. We're dropping below the steering. It's coming up. It's our next piece we're working on here to get out close to our header. A lot of it, you just have to start with some pieces. Take some tape. Put you a couple lines as something to work with 
some place to start. Tape's like the key to all this because it helps yes. you just put it in, pull it out, and then you can take it over the table, tack it up, leave little lines to make sure nothing's moved on you, and that type of stuff. Yeah, they're always reference points. So if you need to clock it a little bit, you always have something to come back to where you started. And then I ended up just kind of bending the line. It don't look the best, and these might need to get rebuilt, but we needed to bend them and get them out of the way so we at least had somewhere to start going with with the tubes. You just kind of have to pick somewhere to start and head that yep. direction with it. You got to start somewhere. and it's, it's not always saying that where you're heading, unless you had a hole in the fender where you're truly trying to fit. Yeah, if you're trying to do like a bullhorn or like a fender or whatever where you're finishing, then you actually have made jigs before to where it holds the pipe yes. at the end. Mm -hmm. So if, it, if, say, he wanted it to come out here, He'd actually build something to like hold the exit there or have that hole and then he knows where he's headed. So hold my collector. So you're actually kinda of have to watch both together with this. This is our general area where we're wanting to come out of, so it's not this is the easiest kind of header you could ever try to practice on or come in to kind of get a thing because there's nothing set in stone other than some clearance. Get some stuff. You want to make sure your tire's not kind of come up, get into it. This is really easy because there's nothing you're actually trying to do. You'll make all the body panels. It and on this, you're not even trying to, like, tie them together. Right. Like, go into a collector. Right. Well, yeah. I mean, we're trying to be close to each other up here, straight, but... but... Once we get them built, they'll be kind of same as we're going. And then we'll put a across the fender, determine probably an inch up so we're not sitting right on the paint or whatever James decides. We'll take them, put them on the bandsaw, cut them off. They'll be a nice straight, nice flow. Everything will look uniform and stuff. But that's still a few hours away. And you usually want to work... From your hardest point out so then you don't paint yourself more or less into a corner right right on, on this side here obviously the drivers always has more components where you got to start yeah column brakes oh, yes yep. steering yep. box depending yep. on if you're going up down and forward yep. usually alternator like this one power steering which we're not going to run you guys can see on the passenger side it's completely open so it'll be much easier to match this side to that side but they still don't ever come out exactly symmetrical yep. because like even the heads sit different and there's just different things going on in the truck so right yeah that head over there sits back uh what is on the ls roughly an inch maybe an inch and a quarter back further so there we'll have to work the tubes forward a little bit more on there but we got lots of room over there so that's why we'll start over here and then once we kind of know where we're at here then we can try to duplicate as close as we can on that side yes yep so we're going to go ahead and get these now tacked up and then keep working our way out with that tube yeah. if you do just end up buying you know just full pieces just plan on cutting it up a few different ways like yep. pretty much you would start by cutting that in a 90 that's exactly what and you're then doing. if you needed to then you could cut it to a 45 yep. and then you end up with a 90 a 45 kind of out of it and then straight cut a chunk out of it here what yeah i mean we're going to use this piece i've seen so many people actually ask for straight tubes when you go to build headers honestly there's I used to buy straights. I probably still have all the straight tubing I've ever bought. I buy them in usually a three-foot chunk. You, you just end up with them like this. This is his box he brought over, and he's got a good chunk of straight yes. right there. So you just you end up with straight you usually end up with plenty of. Yes. So that's where I would start. Don't waste your money on buying that because chances are you're going to be disappointed. It's just going to be yard art. You won't use it. Or very seldom you'll use it. Yeah, usually it's going to be what's connected, so then you don't have to add another weld in here. Right. You're just going to use a piece that's connected to a... Right, so you'll you'll come out here, it might be two inches. So this isn't three pieces, pieces, it's one. Yeah. yeah. Minimizes your welds, cleans up the tube, makes it look really nice. And so it's only real tight spots where you'll get lots of welds where you have to kind of keep turning all your... So you usually want to... Once you have like this joint figured out, you want to tack this one and then work on this joint. Yes. And yes. then tack this one and then work on the next joint. Right. And just kind of build as it comes. And then once you get your first one, this one's kind of a, a pain with the steering right here where you do have to drop down. Granted, on the passenger side, we'll be able to flow right out from them. This one here, we have one that has to come up over the steering, one that has to go underneath the steering. So we're kind of at a, you got to go with what you got to clear. Every project has its thing, and I knew from the beginning of starting an S10, because I've looked at them before, that the headers are, like, probably the biggest pain on these builds. But if you're building your own, you can get around it. Like, I think on uh, some of the stainless works, like bolt-in long tube stuff, this actually comes around, and then they tuck back down. Mm -hmm. We're going to go under and out, and then this one will we'll bring them together, and then we'll end up finding our way out of the truck. That kind of gives you a reference of kind of what we've built up to this point. And then we're, so we're going to go ahead and tack that, and then we'll start looking at what we want here. We're going to draw a little angle on here, and then we'll see where we end up out. So 
So what we ended up doing there is taking a piece that's a little bit bigger and it slips over here, taping it to it so we can measure and get an idea on what we needed right here because we needed to grow the pipe a little bit. Well, once we got done with all that, we just so happened to have an extra piece that he's cut off before that he didn't throw away. Most people would see that as a scrap piece, little thing, but... Not, not in header for <laughs> So that's going to be a perfect piece. It's actually going to go right here between these two. And then uh, we'll tack that. And now that'll grow the pipe long enough to where then it'll come out the truck. So this is the little solar flux paste that we were talking about. Just puts it on a little brush, brushes it in there, brush it along the seam of the joint. He's going to go ahead and do both sides. Then on the other side of the pipe, once we hook to that one, we'll do that other side as well. Um, you just mix a little bit of alcohol with it. It just makes a little bit of paste. And then he just gets a little bit, goes on there kind of dark. And then once it dries, it kind of dries into a light brown color. And then this way we don't have to back purge everything. <clears throat> Normally what I do too is when you do this, when you brush it on, you got the pieces. You can see where it got a little bit on the outside just to keep it out of the weld. And so I'll take my file once this dries and skim back across it just to get back down to the clean. So you don't put that stuff into the weld? Yes. We are looking at this pipe. We're getting close now to coming out of the hood, but we might be a little short here. But that's right at the hood. It's just a hair over, like taller than the edge of the fender right here. Mm -hmm. So it'd be almost flush with it. So I can try to come back some, but. Mm, that's interesting. That puts it just kind of looking at it, probably a good half inch above the mm -hmm. hood. That's probably not bad. It's probably like right, right there. And then it keeps okay. everything nice and, <coughs> nice and well, close. Let's go with that and then we'll. Okay. So we were just talking, and now that we got the first tube done here, this is actually longer than what the bins are normally. So we might actually need yeah. some straight pipes. When you're looking at it, we actually ended up using what would be a straight. Uh, so my dad was just talking, he was actually thinking about it last night, is that when you're building zoomies like this, you probably do need some straights. Yes, yeah, depending on where you're linked because you will have some really long runs and your J bins just don't offer enough length on of a leg or even get like a j where it does have a little more maybe you're all right yeah. but which this is even a short set of zoomies anything that you're gonna have long runs like even a long tube wouldn't have eh, maybe that long of a run but not typically in a straight pattern you're usually snaking through right, the frame something or something that's fitting in a normal head or so your your links are only going to be give or take even on a big block whatever they're they're not very long and stuff but actually a pair of zoomies you will use up some length for Stuff. Or like we say, get your J bands have a long tail, but that probably still wouldn't even get you. It's either that or you're going to end up splicing it. Right. Like you, you'll end up cutting this off and then you'll end up, you can, you can add some length. So you'll end up maybe with two of these if you're using something in here. And then you could still weld it as long as you're okay with welding right. the seam in. Just eliminates the welds the longer the pieces. So. so to make it easier on you, if you're planning on doing some zoomies kind of like this, we will, uh, you'd probably use some straights. But otherwise, check that out. So there is the first tube kind of in there, tacked up and sitting pretty much out the hood right there, nice and flat. I'm still not 100% sure how I want to finish it all off. Maybe just leave it like this or come back and put like a band around it. Or my original idea was doing some big teardrops that got cut kind of weird where it'd be sharp out here off the edge. But uh, that we'll figure that out later. We just need to get some zoomies built so we can get this thing running. So I've got two tubes tacked up, going to probably get some length so then I don't have to like splice right here. But otherwise, I'm going to get these pulled off and start welding up all these tubes. And then at the end, weld them to the flange so then I can get into like the tight areas like up in here and stuff like that. So I'm going to work on that for a little bit and then throughout the week we'll end up tacking more of them together and keep building them. So we had a fabrication ferry stop by today while I was working and uh, he wanted to work on the header some more. So he actually got this whole side done. I ordered some length of pipe to finish these out because I want to end up having them a little bit longer anyway. Uh, but that's pretty much how a whole side will end up looking. Looks pretty good. Ended up coming out pretty pretty decent. Not too bad, huh? No, I, no not too bad. Pretty pretty easy. <laughs> had, had some room to do it. so. Oh, yeah, it helps when you got a little bit of space to work with. No real ended purpose intended. Yeah, we kind of get to choose our finishing point, so it's really, really wasn't too bad. So 
you're gonna end up taking these off now right the uh the longer pieces here so you can steal them for over here yeah got that fender put over there this so a piece cut from molly because we didn't have the links where we said early in our video that we didn't need link obviously we didn't <laughs> yeah went ahead and put this mount on here to kind of equal out that side to show where the um hinge it ends up being just going to try to mirror that side but you can't ever really mirror because if you look that this head sits back further than that head and you have some other things in play here fast forward to the weekend worked on getting this set of headers finished up ended up getting the long pipe in and cutting those making them even and then i'm probably going to grind them and make them smooth at the end but otherwise these are all done i need to remove the steering column slide the header out and finish welding around all of the flanges up on the head and then this side, this is about as far as we got with the bins that I originally ordered. Uh, I built a straight for this side. I need to build one for this side. Then I can weld all those tubes solid. And then we are waiting on a few more bins to show up to finish out these pieces here. So I think I'm going to end up building a little heat shield or something right here to help the heat stay away from the uh, brake lines there. It's time to finish up welding the headers. Got them all tacked. Got most of the tubes all welded except for a few little spots on this back tube, uh, which I figured I'd do once I get pulled out. So I got everything tacked up there, ready to go. Pop the column out in just a few minutes, which then allows me to slide the column out uh, and drop this down. And now I can pull the whole header off and then I can bring it over and put it on the bench and weld it up the rest of the way. Cause in there it gets pretty tight. So got the headers off, went ahead and mounted it to this large piece of aluminum to help soak the heat out of it as I'm welding it to not uh, warp the flanges. So I'm gonna go ahead and just weld a little piece, move a little piece, move a little piece, and then uh, let it cool. And then keep welding in different spots until the tubes are fully welded. So another box showed up for motion with those couple bins I needed to finish off the headers. Getting the headers finished up on here, the zoomies are almost done. We've got one more pipe to build. So uh, he's actually working on the final pipe there. So all we got is one more pipe left here to build out and then come back and build all the lengths to have it match this side over here. Uh, just got a little bit more work to do on that side and that side's almost completely done. And then finish up that side and then headers will be done other than adding in the little O2 bungs, which I kind of got to figure out where I want to put them. Uh, I'm thinking like right here in the straight is probably going to be best. Probably do two different tubes so then I can take samples out of both to compare if I ever need to like uh, verify or see if there's, uh, just in case I end up with a weird cylinder and I want to verify it against another one, I can do like both these here. So there we go. That's kind of the first look of a completed set of headers for the most part. That's kind of how it's going to look. So pretty crazy. These huge wide zoomies that'll be coming out of the hood. Pretty neat, something different for sure. Never thought I'd build something like this, but uh, it's a little bit different. Got to throw some freedom at it, and it's it's looking pretty crazy. It's going to scream, I'm sure. I'm, this thing's going to be so dang loud, but I'm going to get this pulled back off, finish this set of headers, come over here, cut the straights, and get this set of headers completed. Got all the lengths cut. Actually have the back tube that goes there on the bench, welding it up right now. So I'm going to go ahead and weld this one up. And then I will actually bring it over, tack it into place on the back. And then I can keep all these in a line as I pull each tube off individually, weld them solid, and then come back, tack them to the flange, pull the flange off, weld the whole thing up like I did over here. Alrighty, so I came out here on the weekend. It's been a few more days. I've just been slowly working on these things in the evenings. And I just finished welding up this one. So they're all completely welded. Uh, the outside of the flanges are welded. The inside of the flanges are welded. So I welded them all in and out. Now I just need to come over and put the O2 sensor bung on it. So I have the O2 sensor bung here. I've already kind of marked them out. And now I'm going to go ahead and drill a little hole, tack and weld this onto the pipe. It's actually on the other side. So as soon as this cools, I will go ahead and uh, flip this over and weld the bung. I actually got two of these, so I'll probably put both on so then I can always switch between pipes if needed. And then finally, the headers will be completely done and then I can move on to some other stuff. So here is the spots that I kind of marked out on both. I think this is the back cylinder. Usually the back cylinders are leaner on the LS is due to like intake design, which 
So I have a little different intake on it, but still gonna go ahead and run it there. So I kind of marked out where I need them to be. I'll go ahead and put two O2 bungs on there and then the system only has one O2, but then I can switch it in between and then just plug the one I'm not using. There they are. The zoomies are completely finished now, welded all the way. Got my two O2 bungs in there. So this is actually the wire uh, that comes from the Holly. The O2 sensor will come over and plug in. They usually favor it to the passenger side like what I have done on the Camaro, but more on that stuff later. So I know this video is kind of drawn out. It was done over probably about two and a half weeks of working on it here and there. I wanted to make sure within a single video, you guys could see a set of zoomies coming out of the hood, come together from start to finish. So if you want to build a set of your own exhaust headers, you could kind of see what goes into it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. So next time we will be talking more about the Holly system, the intake that I have sitting over here. A lot of parts have showed up. In the meantime, as I've been working on some things which worked out, so then I kind of see how things are going to go together. But we will continue on with the rest of the project in the next video. If you guys would, please hit that like, subscribe, and share button. We'll see you next time.